Do you want to be booked on international stages as a speaker regularly? If your answer is yes, this presentation is going to be very interesting for you. So first of all, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Ernesto Verdugo, and on behalf of my business partner and myself, Mitch Carson, which is the person that you're seeing on the right, I want to share with you that we have a number of different events and different stages internationally that you're going to find very interesting because there's possibilities for you to speak in all of them. So first of all, allow me to share with you a little bit of our experience on the speaking industry. Between Mitch and I, we have over 50 years experience as international speakers. We have over 20,000 hours of combined speaking experience on international stages. We have spoken on 56 different countries. So as you can see, you are talking right now to real experts that are uh, doing a lot of inter international events. Now, our latest project is to help you get in front of the right eyeballs faster for you as a speaker internationally. That's why in November we are having our next event, which is called the Dubai Luxury Summit. The Dubai Luxury Summit is like no other. We are partnering with a number of different luxury brands and we are going to have a targeted audience for you to uh, showcase your experience as an expert or as a speaker or as a consultant. And this is a great event for you to be at. And we would like you to speak there. Now, I will tell you a little bit more about the Luxury Summit, but let me share with you that I have brought over 100 speakers already to Dubai, and possibly you can see some of the faces of some of the experts that have come with me to Dubai. And I'm sure that you're going to recognize a number of them, like Mike Fieldsame, or John Cotton, or Mike Koenigs, or Russell Bronson, or Perry Marshall, or Raymond Aaron, or Joel Com, or Joel Bauer or Tony Busan, or Andrew Locke, or Andy Harrington. So as you can see, we have brought a number of uh, big name speakers, and we would like you to be our next speaker there in Dubai. Once again, we are looking for speakers. So please listen to this video, because I think that it will benefit you tremendously. As we were telling you, we both have promoted events, uh, international events all over the place. Uh, we have spoken on many international stages. Both of us see the opportunity right now to making you an international star. So if you would like to amplify your brand, if you would like some real international speaking experience, if you see the value of international TV coverage, if you see the value of international radio coverage, and you have an open mind or are not afraid to travel, then we need to talk. We will tell you specifically how to get in touch with us very soon. But please watch the rest of the video so that you need, uh, so that you know exactly what we are doing. Once again, as I was telling you, in November 2015, we are having the Dubai Luxury Summit, and we would like you to be there. So here is what's happening. First of all, the Dubai Luxury Summit is a TED-like event where you will have a short period of time to showcase your. Uh, abilities or showcase your skills or showcase your expertise to a number of different people in a targeted audience. You will speak in front of a large targeted audience and you will be trained to do an amazing job as a speaker during the summit. We know possibly you're already a seasoned speaker, but doing a TED-like presentation, it's always challenging, no matter how, how much experience you have. You will get your presentation filmed with multiple cameras so that you will be able to use this uh, beautiful presentation for your marketing later on. You will also get coverage on CNBC. You will also get recorded on international radio. You will be media trained so that reporters will love you and you will get everything you need to create a compelling media kit. And this is a very important word, a compelling media kit. You see, let me share with you the process of selecting speakers. How is it that we select speakers and how is it that most event organizers select speakers? If you think about it, they are uh, every single day around the world three, four, five different events in every city uh, that possibly you could speak of. So how is it possible that there's so little speakers that are actually benefiting from the tremendous amount of events which are happening around the world? Well, truth is, us as event organizers only work with people that have professional media kits. 
It is very frequently that I get approached by a speaker that tells me, I would like to speak in one of your events. And then I say, well, that's great. Would you mind sending me your uh, price requirements? And do you, want, do you mind sending me your media kit? So first of all, they tell me, well, I would, think I, I would like a business class seat and I would like to get $10,000 or $15,000 for my presentation. But then they send me their media kit and their media kit is not good enough for me to sell them. Therefore, I lose interest in promoting them. Here, you can see the beautiful uh, media kit of one of my favorite speakers, Stephen Shapiro. He has a beautiful, uh, a beautiful media kit, digital media kit. And this is exactly what gets him booked frequently around the world. Let me share with you that the most important key for you to get booked regularly all over the world is positioning and that positioning has to be done by yourself and also by us the promoters so if you have the right marketing assets for us to promote you it's going to be easy if not it's going to be very difficult so let me share with you a case study what we have done so that you will understand exactly how we select our speakers we studied 25 successful international speakers and we basically compiled all this information so that you know what these guys are doing so that you will be able to get the exact same results. So all these people that we studied had these minimum criteria. First of all, they were speakers that speak more than 20 times per year. They speak more than five times internationally per year. That's also an important thing. They were earning a minimum of $10,000 per speaking fee and their annual revenues as speakers exceeded $200,000. So, if you are not getting these numbers as a speaker right now, most likely it is because you don't have what these guys had. Now, mind you, these guys didn't really have uh, better speaking qualities than you because possibly you're a better speaker. They don't have possibly the amount of experience that you, are, that you have because they, you have been a speaker for 10 or 15 years or whatever or however long. What is what they have that possibly you don't have correctly at this specific time. Well, they all have a compelling media kit. And once again, this is the most important element that we are looking for you to be positioned and for us to position you as a speaker. So the question that you might be wondering is how to craft a professional media kit. So this is exactly what I'm going to be sharing with you. And that, first of all, you are going to need professional personal branding. So you're going to need nice branding so that, uh, as you saw in Stephen Shapiro or here as myself, you need professional personal branding. Then the other thing that you're going to be requiring is uh, legitimate logos of your media and your clients. So on the media... If you have been on television on CNBC or ABC or NPR or wherever you have been, we're going to need real proof that you have actually been with them. If you submitted one uh, pre press release and it was suddenly mentioning one of the websites, that doesn't count. We're also going to require logos of the companies that you have worked with. And this is going to be inside your uh, personal speaking uh, website. You Also, we need to be able to see and show some of the proof that you have spoken on international stages. This is very important. We need to see, and this is one of the most important ones, we need a multi-camera demo reel. And this is where most of the speakers go wrong. They send us a video that it's already pixelated because it was recorded 15 years ago through a VHS camera, or they send us something that has very low audio, or has something that it was created possibly and recorded with their own telephone. And that, of course, is something that is not going to help us sell you as a speaker. So once again, you're going to need legitimate TV exposure. You're going to need legitimate radio exposure. You're going to be uh, have to, you're going to have to share with you all the different uh, magazines and newspapers and everywhere where you have been appearing on the media. You're going to require credible testimonials, and you're going to require a proper sizzle reel. So many people do not understand exactly what a sizzle reel. A sizzle reel is, you know, like the trailer of a movie. So in order for you to figure out exactly what a sizzle reel is, allow me to share with you a sizzle reel for one of our speakers, uh, Catherine McIntosh. Have a look. Our next international expert, Catherine McIntosh.
cool, huh? Well, this is exactly what we need in order for us to sell you. Now, let me share with you a little bit more about the media kit. First of all, a media kit is not a shrine for your ego. Another of the big mistakes that we see speakers do is that they send us their personal website where they are talking about how incredible they are, that they are basically the most incredible thing after sliced bread. And that is not how it works. That is not something that we can work with because, of course, we cannot promote you with this kind of thing. So I want you to understand that your media kit is not a shrine for your ego. So here are the elements required in order for you to establish your fee as a speaker. Once again, these are the elements required to establish your fee as a speaker. So first of all, we need professional branding pictures. We need action shots of you on stage. We need a 30 to 60 second CISO reel. We need a minimum of two demo reels, which last a maximum six or seven minutes, as I was sharing you with you earlier, which is the short video that needs to be professionally uh, taken from you on stage. We need credible testimonials. We need interviews of you on network television, interviews on the radio, printed media inclusions, proof of international engagements, interviews on podcasts, that's also very important, media logos, client logos, and that, of course, it's going to be all what is going to be creating your media kit. Now, fact is, assembling your media kit is expensive and time-consuming. Why? Because you're going to need a demo reel, which is hard to put together. You're going to need a CISO reel. You're going to need personal branding photography. You're going to need proof that you have spoken internationally. You're going to need international testimonials. You're going to need a properly assembled media kit. And on top of that, you're going to require television, radio, and printed media. And this is why you need all of that. Because your media kit is what's going to be conveying your value. You just cannot pretend you're kind of a big deal. Or even if you're a big deal, if your media kit is outdated or it doesn't look as professional as it should be looking right now, you are going to be losing a ton of opportunities. So now you might be a little bit worried because, of course, you want to be in Dubai or you want to be internationally, but you don't have all of this what I'm sharing with you. So now, if you will not be listening to this video... Possibly what you will do is you will start working with a PR agency. Now, what is the problem with working with a PR agency? A PR agency uses a word that absolutely kills every single deal that you can imagine about working with a public relations agency. They will give you, even in their contract, that they might get you on TV, that they might get you on the radio, that they might get you on printed uh, media, but there's no guarantees. Now, on top of it all, they have selective acceptance. That means that they don't accept everybody. They just select who they can work with so that they can have success and they will not provide success to everybody. Now, in order for them to have a better opportunity to give that success, they're going to be charging uh, they're going to be telling you that you have to hire them between three to six months and they're going to give you a three to six month contract. Every month, you're going to have to pay them 5000 to 10000 per month. So your minimum risk is going to be uh, anywhere between 15000 to $30,000. And of course, the worst part of it all is that it is a questionable performance because there are no guarantees. That is a problem. So in reality... The two biggest barriers to entry for most speakers to start benefiting from the tremendous amount of speaking opportunities they are abroad are time and money. And what do I mean by that? Well, first of all, the question that everybody asks us, how much would it cost to assemble a professional media kit? So if you think about it, if you do it normally, a publicist will cost you anywhere between 15000 to 30000 And of course, you will not get every single thing that is required that will not be guaranteed. You will need a sizzle reel that will cost you anywhere between $2,500 and $10,000. You will need a demo reel that will cost you anywhere between $2,000 and $10,000. You will need to hire a professional branding expert, and that will cost you anywhere between $5,000 and above. Uh, you will need a total minimum investment of $25,000 to $40,000, and still it's not guaranteed. Now you can understand why... There's so little speakers that actually make it abroad. I mean, it's a very small group of speakers that make it abroad. So, basically, 
you still need the international exposure and the different stages. So as you can see, it is difficult. And of course, if you want to assemble all this stuff, it can take you up to one year or longer. So here are your options. First of all, pay anywhere between forty dollars to $50,000 with no guarantee, and it's going to take you one full year assembling your media kit. Or the option two is to speak in Dubai and get everything done in seven days. Now you can see the whole value of you speaking in Dubai in the Dubai Luxury Summit. So you're going to come for a few days to Dubai in seven days and you're going to get everything done and you will also have speaking opportunities ready for you. And that's an important thing. Now, as we are telling you, we can help you more international, get, get more international engagement. So it could only, only be Dubai, but this time also we're doing some stuff in Cairo. Possibly next time it's going to be Israel or Thailand or, or London or Madrid or, or even Havana, which I think is just very interesting. So that's why all of this, what we're sharing with you, it's going to be very interesting. Now, please understand the following. Kansas is not the center of the universe. That means that if you are already a famous speaker, you already have a name, you already have a ton of experience in your market, in Dubai, that doesn't mean that they are going to know you as well as they know you in your market. So you cannot just pretend because, of course, you have uh, done very well in your market, in your area, in, in your city, in your niche, that you will be able to do it uh, fine in Dubai or in other markets. So that's why it's very important. Now, possibly you have a ton of speaking experience, but your speaking experience is not really speaking all over the world. One of the frequent uh, mistakes that I keep on hearing from speakers is they tell me, well, I have spoken all over the world. Where, do you, where, where have you spoken? Well, I spoke in Florida, and I spoke in Seattle, and I spoke in New York, and I spoke in Vegas, and I spoke uh, everywhere. Yeah, but that's all domestic, domestic in the United States. Where else have you spoken? Well, I also spoke in Edmonton. Well, in reality, Edmonton doesn't really count as an international stage. In order for you to get international experience, you have to go overseas, and that's a very important thing. Now, another of the common things that I keep on hearing from speakers is, oh, yeah, I will go to your event if you, of course, pay for my ticket and pay for my expenses and pay for my accommodation. Listen, first of all, you need to understand exactly what I was talking about earlier. Of course, I mean, if we know how you're doing stuff, if you know how much experience you have, if you have a great media kit, we might decide to pay for your uh, business ticket or for your economy class ticket. But if we do not have a relationship with you, nobody knows you in the market, I think it's very important that you understand that the world has changed and the expenses from the travel need to be paid by you. Now, bear in mind, what you are going to be getting for this presentation in Dubai is not just coming and speaking. The biggest benefit is that you are going to be generating the proof that you require. In other words, you will complete your media kit in seven days. Once again, you're going to be featured on CNBC. You're going to be going to the radio. You're going to be uh, having a large audience listening to you. You're going to have your branding photography. You're going to get your CISO reel. You're going to get printed media also taken care of. So as you can see, you are getting a ton of benefits besides just the fact that you're just speaking on the Dubai event, right? So that's an important thing. So I want you to see how the whole week will go because of course it is a great opportunity for you to see it. So let's have a look together so that you can get a better idea how this event is going to be working.
Really cool, huh? Well, what I want you to do is now imagine yourself participating in this experience. So what would you be getting during these seven days? First of all, you will speak in the Dubai Luxury Summit to a large targeted audience. That is a byproduct. That's not the most important thing. Sure, we need an event so that you will be able to be showcased, so that we will be able to see how you perform, so that we will be able to pair you up with possible customers. You will be trained to do an amazing job as a speaker during the summit. Your presentation is going to be filmed with multiple cameras on for your demo reel so that you can have your demo reel that you can market uh, later on. You will get international TV coverage on CNBC. I mean, you will be recorded on Dubai radio so that you could also have radio interviews. A celebrity photographer will capture your branding pictures. An acclaimed filmmaker will create your 30 to 60 second season reel. A renowned reporter will interview you for his show. And we will include a field trip to the Dubai Internet City so that you can actually learn from Google and from LinkedIn how you can market yourself further on the Internet. And you will discover how your media kit will get you speaking engagements uh, fast. And last but not least, you will have the opportunity to mastermind with us and explore multiple JV and speaking opportunities. Now, the cool thing about this is that one of the training days, one of the days that we're going to be doing to get you ready, is going to happen in the Burj Al Arab. The Burj Al Arab is the seven-star hotel, and it's a unique opportunity because if you go 14, the Burj Al Arab, you're going to end up paying about $300. So now imagine how valuable it could be just spending a one full day in this incredible uh, place. Now, the question that many people ask is, well, why are you doing Dubai? Well, simple. First of all, it is considered the most spectacular city in the world. Second, Dubai possesses the world's most prestigious stages. It's one of the most affluent markets in the world. There are 219 nationalities that live in Dubai itself. So this is very cool because you will have the possibilities of speaking in an audience where it's going to have 30 to 40 nationalities, and that is going to go straight into your media kit. All multinational companies want a Dubai presence. Oracle, Microsoft, Google, Facebook, LinkedIn, all those big companies want a presence in Dubai. The answer is, why not you? By speaking in Dubai, you will earn instant international celebrity positioning and branding, which, of course, is also going to be very powerful for you. So that's why we have created this event called Speak in Dubai. Now, is Dubai a safe place? Because, of course, I've been hearing that Dubai is in the Middle East and it's going to be very dangerous. Well, in reality, Dubai was voted the safest place to raise a kid in the world. I have been there so many times with my family, with my kids. There you can see me with my 10-year-old son, and you are going to absolutely love it, and you don't have to worry at all about safety. But I do not speak Arabic. As I was mentioning, 200 national, 219 nationalities reside in Dubai. Therefore, the common language is English. So if you speak English, you are going to do well. Yeah, but I am a woman. Would I be accepted? The answer is yes. Dubai is a cosmopolitan city. In fact, look at these pictures. There's covered women and uncovered women. And in reality, 83% of the population in Dubai consists of expatriates. And 36% of these expatriates are Western expatriates. So it's like if you're going to Hong Kong or it's like if you're going to Singapore, it's like if you're going to New York incredibly international city. But I am Jewish. Would that be a problem? The answer is no. We have taken a number of different Jewish speakers, like Harlan Kilston, like Paul Lemberg, like Raymond Aaron. And what is great is Dubai has a ministry of coexistence. That means that everybody needs to be able to coexist with each other. So being Jewish is absolutely not a problem. Now, you might be wondering, well, is this going to cost me a fortune to fly there? Well, in reality, it doesn't matter where you are. I have flown from the United States anywhere between $457 to $1,200. And that is more or less the same price for every destination in the world to fly to Dubai. It's actually relatively inexpensive. In many cases, it is less expensive to fly from here to Dubai, believe it or not, than from Florida to Seattle. So as you can see, Prices are not a problem. Hotels are not expensive. You can see here, there's two four-star hotels and prices vary between 
dollars and 126 126 dollars so hotels are also not expensive how about food is that expensive well that's up to you i mean you can have cheap shawarma in the street which is of course very healthy you can have mcdonald's which is also very inexpensive or you can have food in the seven star hotel so it depends on your uh, liking can i bring my significant other the answer is yes absolutely i believe that dubai has now replaced either paris or Venice as the most romantic city in the world. Now, this opportunity is by application only. So what I need you to do is consider the following. Option number one, once again, to pay forty to $50,000 with no guarantee and a minimum one year assembling your media kit time. Or option two is to invest $12,000 with a guarantee and everything completed in seven days. And here you can see uh, you can go and fill out your application in speak in Dubai forward slash apply. These are your options. If someone offers you an amazing opportunity and you're not sure you can do it, say yes first, then figure out how to do it later. So I understand your situation. Right now, you understand that putting all of that stuff together, it's 40,000 or 12,000. So obviously 12,000, it's tremendous value and a great deal. Also, you understand that it's not going to cost you one year, but you can get everything done on seven days. Plus on top, yes, it is a tax write-off. Now, I am not a lawyer. However, I know that there's a good possibility that you will be able to legally write this off. You might be thinking, well, I don't have the time. As I was telling you, this is not something that is going to be there all the time. So if I'll be you, I'll make the time. Now, this is the most important thing that you might be thinking, I don't have the money. Don't worry, fill out the application, get in touch with us, and we will work out with you. We are as interested as you are of getting this done because of course we need speakers in our pool of international speakers because we have a number of different events. So if you're a great speaker and you're not earning the amount of money to pay this, uh, this kind of um, event, what we need to do is we need to make sure that we connect because, of course, we know that there's ways in how we can work this out. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, well, I'm not ready. My book is not ready. I don't have the experience. I don't have this. I don't have the other. Trust me, the moment that you have your media kit done, you are going to start getting speaking engagements. And the best thing is to start getting money right off the bat. So that's why even if you feel that you're not ready, this is the right time for you. And as I was mentioning earlier, you are, of course, going to be safe. Dubai is perfectly safe. You don't have to worry about that now. So that you can see how impactful this can be for you, let me share with you what Russell Brunson said to me. I brought uh, Russell in 2008 to Dubai. And just after he spoke in Dubai, uh, he was speaking on Tony Robbins' stages. He said, my international speaking career got started in Dubai. You can see how powerful that could be. Mike Field Same says, speaking in Dubai is always a highlight of my expert bio. In fact, he actually mentions that he spoke in Dubai on his Wikipedia page. In fact, have a look about what he said. If you want to see one of the world's most thriving cities, and then have an opportunity to have something that you can put on your speaking resume. The first line I always talk about was at the time that I had an opportunity to keynote in Dubai. For me, that says something. It's one of the most wonderful parts of the world. The people are awesome. If you have a speaking brand or even thinking of one, this is one of the places you want to start. And the people you want to talk to are Mitch Carson and Ernesto Verdugo. Thank you. Well, there you go. That was Mike Phil Same. Another expert, John Carlton, the number one copywriter in the world, says Dubai is a must for all serious speakers. Listen to what he said. So I think that Ernesto's uh, seminar here is going to become a, a, a regular stop uh, for a lot of people, uh, both locally and people are going to start coming around from different parts of the world just to see what's going on here. It's, uh, it's, it's part of the brave new world. And I know that I hung out with all the other speakers here. We all had a great time. Really liked the city. It was a great crowd. Uh, we were treated very well. It was just a fun, profitable, uh, lucrative, and very, very interesting adventure. So I urge anybody who's watching this to, uh, if Ernesto asks you, you're one of the lucky few and you should take him up on it. Well, there you go. So, once again, overthinking is often a product of underdoing. You have two options. Option number one, pay $40,000 to $50,000 with no guarantee. 
work for a minimum of one year assembling your media kit, or invest $12,000 with a guarantee, have everything completed in seven days, and have also the possibility of getting already speaking engagements in one of the most affluent parts of the world. So please go to speakindubai.com or possibly below this video, you're going to find a way how to fill out this application. So what are some other superstars thinking about Dubai? Please have a look. Hey, this is Mike Koenig, and I want to just tell you what an awesome experience I had speaking in Dubai. First of all, it is an unbelievably beautiful country. It is very well integrated in an extremely tolerant society. It's exceptionally safe, and the people are wonderful. But more importantly, when you go there, you'll be blown away with the opportunity of just being able to speak and present in a completely foreign land that is going to change your life forever. I can't recommend it highly enough, and it was awesome going there with Ernesto as well. Hi, this is Simon Coulson from the Internet Business School in the UK, and after being invited by Ernesto to speak in Dubai, my international speaking career skyrocketed, and I've now spoken around the world in over 15 different countries, and it all started with speaking in Dubai. And I have to tell you, Dubai is one of my favorite places to speak in the whole world. It is so prestigious, and there's so much going on there, and it's an it's a epicenter of so many happening things. So if you have a chance to work with, with Mitch and, and with Ernesto, you definitely want to take advantage of it. Dubai is a place that you have to visit in your lifetime. The wonderful thing about working with them is as soon as you arrive in Dubai, they have everything laid out for you. Amazing tours, wonderful dinners and experiences. So speaking here is cool because it's almost like taking a nice relaxing vacation with family and friends that really care about you and want you to experience a truly amazing time. Everything is perfect. I love this event. In 27 years, this is the best event I've ever, ever been to. If you're a speaker, make sure you attend. So again, this is by application only. So you know, you have option number one to pay 40 to 50,000 with no guarantee, minimum one year assembling your media kit, or you can invest $12,000 with a guarantee, everything completed in seven days. Please go to speakindubai.com forward slash apply. And once again, if you're ready to shortcut your speaking career, I recommend you to go to speakindubai.com forward slash apply because our event is happening November 5th to the 12th, 2016. Once again, November 5th to the 12th, 2016. So fill out the application. We will get on the phone. We will get uh, to talk to you. And I'm sure that you're going to really uh, benefit from what we are putting together. Once again, this is Ernesto Verdugo, and I look forward to talking to you via Skype or on the phone so that we can work out that you can come to Dubai with us. Take care. Bye-bye.